It scares me sometimes when I think about the dumb decisions I almost made. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I'm currently on week three. In the past month, I've started in the KT program. I've gone from 22% body fat down to 18% body fat. Not bad. His lifts are going great. I'm a 27-year-old father to a 10-month-old daughter. I also have a wife. Eventually, I also want to be a coach and own a gym. With, within my wife being pregnant, I moved out of my mother's home in May 2020. Till this day, we've been living on our own. I work full time and my wife is a full stay at home mother. I've also feared of me falling into temptation of cheating, but I've cut off porn and masturbation completely. Been going on a month strong. Lately, I've thought about becoming an over the road truck driver for a contracted year. Goal is to gain experience and able to be a local truck driver to feed my pursuit in becoming a trainer and also provide for my family at the same time. Uh, in this case, I wanted to ask if it would be wise to sacrifice a year of my fitness uh, for over the road truck driving or go all in with my fitness goals and become a trainer and eventually own a gym. Okay, dude, so I can totally relate to your situation. Um, when I was first starting out and I wanted to be a trainer, um, I was I was actually going to, I was working for a gym, which I think is a good idea. I was working for a gym at the time. And it was when we first moved down to Florida, my wife and I, and we have a baby. It was just like you, my wife, it was recently married. My baby's like two, three months old. We just moved down to Florida and I'm in personal training like uh they do they give us like a week of sales training before they throw us out there so and this is that lifestyle family fitness that was bought out by la fitness and so i'm going regularly to these trainings i'm also getting some experience at the gym and i start to, it starts to dawn on me that like okay i'm being a personal trainer i'm going to take this job um but what if I don't get as many clients as I need to, to really make the money that I need to take care of my family? I'm, I'm living in my parents' house. You're better than me. I was still living in my parents' house when I moved down here. And so I said to myself, I'm going to learn how to be a bartender. I ordered a course to come in the mail that I was going to study to learn how to mix drinks. I'm 24 years old, mind you. Right? Probably not even yet, probably 23. <laughs> I'm gonna mix drinks at night and I'm gonna go and uh, build my personal training client at the gym. My heart rate is going up because I can see how asinine that is right now. I'm 41 years old, so it was like 20 years ago. And like I, I wanna slap myself for even thinking of it. But I tell you, God works in mysterious ways. I never received the box. I waited and waited and waited for the mail to get the box. I never get the box. They never delivered it to me. But that was fate. What was good advice I received right around that same time was from the guy that I was working, I was gonna go, he was one of the guys who was teaching us the sales techniques at the gym. And I said to him, hey, you know, like, I'm thinking about being a bartender on the side, right? And he looked at me and he said, don't do it. Don't do it. If you want to succeed here as a trainer, and I know you can, you got to go all in. He says you can't split your time and your energy. You're going to be out there late at night, and then you're going to come in here and you're going to want to do sales. It's not going to work. You're not going to be able to get the clients. You have to be high energy. It's just not going to happen. He says you're better off just giving, giving your all to this. Learn what I'm teaching you. Get out there and get all the clients that you need. And I took that advice. I was like, that's why when the, when the box didn't come with all the things teaching me how to fucking mix drinks, I wasn't mad. Cause at that point I was like, all right, my mind was made up. I wanted my money back, but my mind was made up. I was like, all right, you know what? This guy is right. I'm gonna put all my eggs in this basket. I'm gonna try to make this happen. Now, you and your situation is so similar because, and let me show you why. It, it's, your question is perfect. Before you even get into the question about should I be an over the road truck driver or a personal trainer, right? Should I be a bartender? Imagine Elliot Host became bartender. Let me slow down. 
You say this. I also feared of me falling into temptation and cheating. Dot, dot, dot. I have also feared me falling into temptation and cheating. You're afraid of falling into temptation and cheating, but yet you're going to go on these long haul truck drives across the country, far away from your wife for days and days at a time. <laughs> you're setting yourself up. You set yourself up. That's a subconscious, that's your subconscious mind playing tricks on you because it knows you're going to be out there on the road and you're going to be fucking them hoes. And that's why I get scared. I said my heart rate goes up when I think about me being 23 and if I was out there mixing drinks late at night while my wife is at home with the baby. My life would definitely not look like it does right now had I not taken that man's advice. It scares me sometimes when I think about the dumb decisions I almost made, right? Yeah, you set yourself up for that temptation because you're gonna be out there on the road, you're gonna stop at restaurants, you're going to meet them hoes. And you know, hookers in particular, they know the truck stops. And they go there and they know that's what guys are doing out there. So you're definitely going to find some hookers. So <laughs> it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. All angles, that's a bad idea. Don't leave your wife for days at a time on the road trucking around fruit or whatever it is that's in them trucks. That would have been just like if I was bartending. It's dumb. It's dumb. You're going you're gonna to screw up. You're going to screw up your family. <laughs> you're going to screw up your whole family. So I, I just saved you do, and your marriage. Do not do that. Now, your pursuit of becoming a personal trainer, that's a noble pursuit. Right? Why don't you go into one of these gyms and get a job? Get a job at a gym. Start out at the gym doing whatever the fuck they want you to do at that gym. Right? I used to, I, 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 because I wanted to work in gyms so badly, I used to clean gyms. I got a summer job cleaning gyms. I just wanted to be in the freaking gym. I just, whatever the gym had, whatever you want me to do in here. I just want to be in here all day and just give me a little bit of money. That was my attitude. Now, you're 27 and you have a baby already. You know what I was doing? And I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing because our situations are not that different. Um, what the hell was I going to say? I forget. I was looking to see if you were here, Javier. Huh. I don't remember. But the point is, I wanted to get across to you is... Become a trainer. Oh, I remember going to say, become a trainer in the gym. Just take that. I took the gym. I took the gym job. I took a gym job. I worked at a fitness gym and I paid my dues and I did what I had to do. And I worked for the man, if you want to look at it that way. But it's important for you to humble yourself and to and to take that job. Take a job. Take any job that they'll offer you at a gym. Just get into the gym and start making that money in the gym. Stop daydreaming about it. Do you even have a certification? Answer me in the comments, do, in the chat. Do you even have a certification? Because that could be a dream, too. That could be just like you just, yeah, you don't even have a certification. You don't have a certification yet. So that, beware. Beware when you're bullshitting yourself. I want to be a personal trainer. Well, what is the first step to being a personal trainer? Get a certification. It's not even like you have to go to school. That's why this, this industry is such a slapdick industry, because anybody could get into it. It's so easy that people don't even do it. You don't have to be, I was talking about my wife the other day. You don't have to go take a board exam. You don't have to go take these MCATs or special licensing exams. You don't need to be licensed. You literally just pick a certification off the internet, study the book and take the test. It's the easiest thing. So you have to put some eggs in that basket. You put some momentum in that way. You're, you're, you're splitting your energy before you even went down the right path, right? You offer the path, but instead of putting any energy into that path, you think about right, driving trucks. But I get it because it's hard, because maybe that's like, you know, the way you think, and it's hard to change your way of thinking. But this is right here, this is an opportunity for you to upgrade your way of thinking. This is an opportunity for you to see 
or to have faith in a path that you can't see yet, but you have to take limit, legitimate steps to get on it. Get that cert, get that certification, and then become like I did. I became great in sales because I wanted to be the best trainer. If I was gonna be the best trainer, I had to get the most clients. I had the most clients, I had the best clients. I was the best trainer, and that's when I left, right? A lot of guys wanna start out on their own, and I'm not saying that's you, you say you wanna own a gym, but I didn't even, I didn't own a gym until I knew how to work within a gym, a well-functioning gym. So be an apprentice, you're 27, it's so okay, you're all right, you're all right, you, you're not behind. But you get in there, and so where are you gonna develop your mastery? Fitness and sales? This is why I am who I am today. If I didn't put all my eggs in that fitness and sales background, I wouldn't have been Yo Elliot. I wouldn't be here talking to you, right? But I couldn't see that at the time. I didn't know what exactly was gonna happen. All I was thinking was I need, this, I need some money and I could go mix drinks. You know what that means? I was, I was just like you. I was, I was thinking with my lizard brain. Mix drinks out there late. Girls, my wife is sleeping. I didn't think that consciously, but Satan, them demons, was chatting that shit up in my ear, just like they're chatting that shit up in your ear right now. So I'm getting kind of long-winded. I even lost track of myself here. So I'm going to cut this one cool. But um, I hope that's helpful to you, man. I, I, I could see no reason why you would take that risk. That's risky. You think you're... You think you're being less risky by taking the truck driving? You're being more risky by taking the truck driving. Buckle down and do what you're here to do, bro. And be humble. You might have to take some jobs that you don't like along the way, but it should always be in the direction of where you're heading. Right? Like I said, I used to clean the floors of the gym. Hmm? Right? Now I own many gyms. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, me and my team will get back to you the details to see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.